And he took eight apartments over ten weeks. And they were treating these apartments very aggressively at the same time. But each time they went, they would do a visual inspection. And then they would count what was in the interceptors. You can see the numbers on visual compared to the interceptors. But look at this. In apartment eight, over ten weeks they saw 166 visually. There was 1,103 inside the interceptors. So it's not just a visual detection tool to put in a, in a place to see if bed bugs have come. This will catch them far before that three months. But the nice thing is, it killed 1,103 that weren't going to be killed off by that chemical. And so it's a great tool. So a conclusion, uh, bed bug control, it's a team effort. It has to be done between a tenant, a uh, property manager, pest management company that's competently trained. Uh, it could take between three to five visits, but you know there's no way to say exactly how many it'll take to achieve that control. 100% guarantee is impossible. If you remember how small that egg is, there's no way to make sure that we got all those eggs. They can be reintroduced at any time, unfortunately. Um, the last, uh, the proactive measures are uh, ongoing inspections of the key's success, using visual inspections, using the climb up interceptors, things of that nature, and, and educating people so they understand how they can get bed bugs. Probably the most important tools. And uh, thank you very much. Any questions? <laughs> They haven't been able to synthesize it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, so one of the things uh, I, I've been at this for about three years now. Uh -huh. and, uh, we are bumping out of it. And that whole bit felt the uh, steam is an issue. The clutter is our big problem. We house a lot of mentally ill people. What was that? Clutter is our big problem. We house a lot of mentally ill uh -huh. people. And uh, we've been using a product uh, that's primarily the IHM Nation Cert, but it has your own level. Uh -huh. That can get its rage to go right out of the mattress. One of the things that we found in that is that it does, because it has a residual effect, that it does help a little bit with reinfestations. If you get reinfestations, they usually aren't, they don't thrive. Yeah, and, and he's talking about using a diatomaceous surf product on a mattress and uh, having some residual, and it's most likely from the diatomaceous surf and not the, right. the pyrethrum. Um, the material that we use when we use an insecticide is uh, it's cedar side. It's an oil from cedar trees and it's extremely effective and it's actually rated to be used right on our bodies. Uh, I've used it for a few years when I lived in Texas as a mosquito repellent because I didn't want to use DEET which is a chemical on my body. So it's a natural cedar oil and it kills bed bugs in their tracks. I've seen them walk into it and it just stop. So it's a very effective tool and it's something that you know is rated to be used anywhere. So, any other questions? How, how what about it? fumigants? Fumigants are really effective, but uh, they're not very practical. There's an apartment building in New York City that they tinted. Ten-story building costs like 150 grand to tint it, and the next day, bed bugs were reintroduced when they let all the people back in. It wasn't the next day; it was once the, the treatment was done. So, fumigants—they'll kill everything in there, but there's nothing to stop it from being reintroduced. So, if it was cost-effective, and easy to do, it would be done a lot more. But it's just not a very uh, effective tool that way. How do you get the cedar? See, it's in, uh, I believe it's listed on a website. If there's a website you want to go to to get information about products and about bed bugs, the only one I recommend so you get current information is bedbugcentral.com and it's on your paper. Okay. If, if, let's say you close your house off and you just crank your heat up. No. Do no, because we can heat apartments and houses up. Uh, there's equipment for it. Uh, you have to get it up to about 100. You want to get it up pretty high. Some of them will go like 140, 160. You have to keep it there. And every <coughs> square inch of that building has to be at that temperature. And that's almost impossible. There's too many things that can insulate and not get to that temperature. I was talking to someone from Seattle Housing Authority, and they had a spot that uh, underneath some... Uh, rugs, because you pile everything in the middle of the room. When they lifted that up, it had been like six hours, and there was still a bunch of bed bugs just going fine right underneath there. Yeah, and so heaters in a house never get there, and you can drop the temperature, never get there as well. Yeah, they, they also yeah. found that it doesn't work. Yeah, 
a lot of concrete structure. Yeah, concrete. With naked eye, are you actually seeing the eggs with your naked eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you've seen them, and we're gonna, I have some right here. You can come up and look right after this, and uh, you can see them. And uh, you can definitely see the eggs. Once you've seen them and your eyes train to it, you know, I can pick them up pretty easily. Okay. So the whole hotel thing. Yeah. Besides putting your luggage in the bathtub and tearing the room apart. What are your other tips? What? Then what? Bring plastic trash bags. And I, and I don't mean to sound like paranoid. Well, you don't I'm want to get it. So bring plastic trash bags. And when you're ready to head home, you put all your stuff inside a trash bag, tie it off, and put that inside your suitcase. When you get home, you wash everything right away. Um, and I would travel with something that's soft and that's collapsible that you can throw in the dryer as well. Hard luggage, if you don't have to take it, don't, because they really love to infest that. There's lots of hiding spots in it. Um, get a good flashlight, take it with you. You know, a good flashlight, if you take off the sheets, the fitted sheet, you look around there, and if you lift up the box spring, I mean, even if it's a king, you can still do that because you got two twins. It's something you can do, and it's definitely well worth it. If you can catch them uh, before that, you don't want to. What do you do, do if you do find something? You go tell that hotel. You don't stay there. Huh? You don't stay there. Well, you find them. I might stay in another place, but we are not to... Oh, he said uh, if you find bed bugs. Uh, what do you do? And I said, go tell the manager. And he says, well, you stay there still. Well, I might go look in another room. There's no hotel that I feel safe in completely. Any hotel, and any, in the nicest hotels in the United States and in Seattle have happened. That doesn't mean the entire hotel's infested. I've never seen a hotel where the whole thing's infested. And the hotels can't help it. They can't stop someone from bringing them in. Now, hotels can be proactive and try to get rid of problems when they, when they see them. But a hotel can't keep them from coming in. Short of sheep dipping every person that comes in to the place. So, any other questions? Can you speak up a little? The cedar side, is it required a license to apply? No, cedar side can be a purchase by anyone at, uh, I believe it's cedar side industries or cedar side store.com. But if you just do a Google search for cedar side, C-E-D-A-R-C-I-D-E, -E. Uh, you'll find it, you can purchase it. The product of Cedar Side that you want to use is called Best Yet. And they even make a little little can that you can take with you, you can spray your bag with. And it smells great too. So, any other questions? All right, thank, thank you. you.